Aquarius, welcome to your August 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I'll be doing your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. At the end of the reading, I'm going to tell you I have a lot of different options for private readings. I have some that are going to be like an hour long and only be $4.99. So you're definitely going to want to hang around and listen to those. Um, I am on sale for $20 for 40 minute readings right now and um, I'll tell you how to get all those at the end. So uh, stick around for that. So what is the main theme of Aquarius's reading today? What is the main theme? Okay. Choice. So there's a choice Aquarius and you're sitting there and you're thinking about this choice and you're very passionate about it. It's bringing a lot of um, it can bring a lot of peace or a lot of heartbreak. So what's going on in Aquarius's head? What's going on in Aquarius's head? Three cards for Aquarius's mind. So the first one, and we're using the Tarot and Wonderland deck. If you really like it, I put a link in the description box on how to get your own. Um, so this is the Queen of Pentacles. And who is the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles is financial abundance. The Queen of Pentacles is prosperity, success, um, maternal and bliss, like a homemaker. It's also the card of Capricorn. And then we have the Seven of Wands, and it's in the upright. So the Seven of Wands are many challenges being thrown your way, um, determination. You may feel like you're struggling to stay in control or on top. You may have taken on too much. You may have to defend your reputation. Um, you feel like you're attacked or you're blamed for everything. And that is the card of Leo. And then we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So the Nine of Wands in the reverse is being on edge, defensive, paranoid. So there's a lot of fire energy on your mind. Um, we have earth and we have fire. So earth is something that's very practical, stable, solid. They're people that you can count on. And then fire is all ambition, passion, um, aggression, energy. People that get things done, they're go-getters. Tarot deck. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Alright, so we have the Knight of Hats. And the Knight of Hats would be the um, Knight of Cups in the traditional tarot deck. This is Wonderland Tarot in a tin. So it's another tarot in Wonderland, which is really cool. So the Knight of Hats is the Prince Charming, um, the Knight in Shining Armor. Very emotional, very creative. Um, a sweet talker, gallant. This could be offers. You could have received an offer, which is why you have a choice to make. Like proposals, offers. Someone who offers you a shoulder to cry on, developing your own psychic abilities. So the seven of wands, why is it here? Okay, so we have the fool. And the fool I always see is Aries because Aries begins the zodiac and the fool begins the major arcana. And arcana means secrets. It's the major secrets of life. Uh, it just gets curiouser and curiouser. So we have the fool here. And the fool is um, beginnings. 
It's a rebirth. It's a new phase, a fresh start. Um, trust, faith, freedom. So you're feeling on edge because of a new start. You're beginning something new. And that's why you're feeling very defensive. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? So we have the Five of Pepper Shakers, which is the Five of Wands in the traditional deck. Um, so there's conflict, there's tension, there's competition here. Um, the Five would be Leo energy again. So we have Leo energy again. So we could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo. Um, we have Scorpio, and Scorpio I always see as Aries because Aries and Scorpio are both ruled by Mars. Um, and Mars is the god of war. So Scorpio is the more emotional side of Mars, and uh, Aries is the more aggressive side of Mars. So that could be the more emotional side of an Aries, especially with the full right next to it. And then the pentacles, the queen of pentacles is a Capricorn or a Virgo. Wrong deck. <laughs> All right, um, so what is going on in Aquarius' family and home life? What is going on in Aquarius' family and home life? August 1st through the 15th of May. Two cards. One more for Aquarius' family and home life. And I'm really seeing an Aries here. I'm getting strong Aries energy. Really strong. Aries or Leo? One or the other. Really strong. Alright, so the first one we have is the Three of Wands, which is the card of Aries. And the Three of Wands is turning your back on the past, looking for towards the future, taking action on making a decision. Um, efforts are paying off here. Relationships are exciting or adventurous or you're going on a trip. In your relationship, this could be um, going on vacation. All right, and then we have the Three of Pentacles. So we have a lot of threes here. Um, so threes are all about growth. Threes are all about achievement and communication, creativity, um, abundance. So we have the three of pentacles. And the three of pentacles is about teamwork, building, not cutting corners. And again, this is Capricorn. So again, the strong Capricorn um, Aries energy. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. So this is long-term financial security, permanent success, extreme wealth, long-standing family businesses, inheritances, and this is the card of Virgo. So what I'm getting is a lot of this ambition, this fire energy, mixed with a lot of stability a lot of practicality, a lot of um, being grounded and conservative. But there's still a lot of passion here. I'm seeing a lot of passion here. I'm seeing a trip. I'm seeing you looking towards the past, towards times that you went on vacation before. I see you planting, like, being very luxurious, um, very romantic. And I see it being very comfortable, very comfortable, your home life. So why is the three of wands here? I have the six of hats, which would be the six of cups in the traditional Rider Waite deck. So the six of uh, cups would be childhood memories, nostalgia. So this is something, yeah, this is definitely from the past. It's, it's a very nostalgic relationship. It, it could be with a fire sign or an earth sign. And then the three of pentacles, we have the empress. So the empress is beauty. It's, 
domestic, a goddess, um, an incubation period of a plan, an idea, a baby, a me time, a period of growth. And again, with the threes, we have growth, and the empress can also be growth because she incubates a baby, she incubates fertility. It takes nine months for things to grow, and that's what the empress personifies. So it's a very, I'm seeing a lot of comfort, a lot of security. And then I have the tower reversed. So um, there was an advance warning of change. You got out of the way. You're rebuilding things. You're salvaging things. You damage control. So something may have happened in the past and now you're rebuilding. It, you're salvaging your home life. You're bringing things back into order. And overall, I see your family and home life being very good right now. Very good. Okay, um, so what is going on with Aquarius's money? Three cards for Aquarius's money, please. Three cards for Aquarius's money, please. Three cards for Aquarius's two. All right. One more for Aquarius's money. Okay, perfect. So we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So there's confusion, there's chaos, there's a lack of clarity concerning your money, and there could be some painful lessons financially. I have the King of Swords in the reverse. So when the King of Swords reverses, it's somebody who's rigid, ruthless. Um, there's a lot of financial arguments. It, it could be with... Um, With, with someone who's masculine. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a big fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty and Dumpty back together again. So there's some sort of financial loss here. And it looks like it's in the past. It's already happened. And you can't recover from that. You can't get it back. It's gone. It's gone. However, we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is sudden. Sudden arrivals. Sudden departures. Um, he's blunt. He's direct. He's honest. He's fat, fast paced. Um, again, I'm seeing financial arguments. I'm seeing arguing about money. So there's some sort of loss that you can't get back, and there's a lot of arguments about money. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? All right, went ahead and gave me the King of Swords too. And why is the Knight of Swords here? So, the Ace of Swords is here because of the Nine of Flamingos. So, the Nine of Flamingos is not sweating the small stuff and gaining perspective. Um, it's normally the card of depression and anxiety, but in the reverse, it's gaining perspective. It's a, it's a different, different perspective. Then the King of Swords is here because of the Two of um, clams, oysters, the two of oysters, which would be juggling teamwork. And then the Knight of Swords is here because of the page of flamingos. So this is having your head in the clouds, um, daydreaming, a lot, having a lot on your mind. For, but you're forming a workable plan, making realistic goals. Right, 
three advice cards for Aquarius, please. Magician reversed. Two more. The Empress reversed. And the world reversed. So there's three major life events here. One begins. Um, we have one, three, and the ending. So we, we start with the, well, the fool's the beginning technically, but this is the beginning after the fool. This is number one. This is the magician. And then we end with the world. So we have the magician in reverse. So this is feeling powerless. There's a lack of self-discipline, lack of qualification. Um, there could be a charlatan, a liar, thief, bully, con man. There's communication problems. The Empress Reverse is a lack of growth, unproductive, lack of stability, lack of development, poor self-image, manipulation, overeating. And then the World in Reverse is carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, holding on. A distorted body image, your world being turned upside down, feeling vulnerable and insecure. Okay, clarify these. So, why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? All right, the world reversed. So we got the world reversed here, and we got the world reversed here. So you feel weak, powerless. There's communication problems because you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. There's a lack of closure. There could be abuse. Abuse is taking your power away. It could be verbal abuse because the magician is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. And the world is ruled by Saturn, which is the planet of hard lessons. So verbal abuse. Right. Uh, the Empress reversed. And I have the two of pepper mills. So this is an Aries. And this is decisions about movement, decisions about a course of action. Should I stay? Should I go? Um, something's holding you back. So there's a lack of growth. You're being held back, and it could be by a fire sign, um, specifically in Aries. Why is the world reversed here? One card for why the world reversed is here. All right, the high priestess. The high priestess sits on her throne um, between two pillars, one marked B and one marked J, which stands for Boaz and Hakeem, which stands for strength and unity. She is a Pisces. She holds the Torah in her hand, which is the secrets of the subconscious mind. She is the secrets of the subconscious mind. Um, normally, there's the moon between her feet, but it's not here on this card. Um, the moon represents emotions, and she's in full control of her emotions. What we have here is the star right by our head, and the star in the major arcana is the card of Aquarius. So this is representing you, um, the high priestess, and this is the subconscious mind. This is your intuition. This is withdrawing and using your intuition. This is um, a need to go deeper for answers. Not everything's as obvious at first glance. Um, it's a time for retreat, retreat and reflecting. And that's how you overcome this stagnation of carrying the weight in, of the world and unable to move on, unable to complete a cycle. Right, 
So three cards for Aquarius's family, um, social and romantic life. Three cards for Aquarius's social and romantic life, please. Right. Got the two of wands twice. Plus the three of wands twice. Those are all the cards of Aries. I'm seeing strong Aries energy here. You're definitely, there's, there's an Aries somewhere around you. Somewhere. Two more. Two more, please. Ten. Each. All right. So the first we have the two of wands, and it's in the reverse. So there's a fear of the unknown here, and this is the card of Aries in your romantic and social life. We have the Ten of Wands, so you're feeling burdened. You feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. This is a card of completions. Uh, tens complete a cycle, and with every completion, there's a new beginning. And then we have the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is frustration, paralyzed by fear, of not being able to see a way out, feeling backed in the corner, feeling victimized, trapped, um, ignoring advice. And that's the card of Gemini. And the Ten of Wands with Sagittarius. So it's still that fire energy. All right, so the Two of Wands is here because of the Four of Cups, or the Four of Hats. <laughs> um, this is being moody, depressed, apathetic, meditation, getting a new social scene. Ten of Wands here. Alright, so I have the Knight of Oysters. Uh, it's a very slow moving energy, the Knight of Oysters. That would be the Knight of Pentacles in the traditional deck. It's very slow moving. It is um, a time to put plans into action. Building your own empire. Don't take foolish risks. Get rest. Why is the Eight of Swords here? All right, I have the Queen of Hats. So the Queen of Hats would be Cancer energy. So this would be a Cancer woman. She's very nurturing. She's very sensitive. Um, she's emotional, loving, family following your heart, going with the flow, meditation again. So there's a lot of cards of meditation here. So one of the biggest advices, advice that you need to take is to take time to meditate. Okay. Three cards for Aquarius is career and life purpose place. Three cards, okay. King of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. All right, so we have the King of Wands, and this is a natural born leader, an entrepreneur. So he's very talented, energetic. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So this is a complete mental breakdown being backstabbed, crisis, severe conflict, abuse, gossip, feeling like you hit rock bottom, a burnout. And then we have the Ten of Cups. So this is joy, happiness, marriage, family, domestic bliss, emotionally successful outcome. So as you can see, these are both cards of completions. One's very emotional and one's very painful. So it's like seeing two different things with your career. On one hand, there's gossip, there's backstabbing, and then on the other hand, there's family, there's friendships, there's community. And that causes cognitive dissonance where you see things as this big happy family but 
it's really this. Complete and total betrayal. And you want to see it as happy. But it's really this. And you're balancing. You're juggling. You, you're, you're, doing, you're the monkey on the stage. Doing all these tricks. I reassess where you are. You're, there's an illusion here. This is illusions. Okay. So why is the King of Wands here? One part of why the King of Wands. Okay. So the Page of Pepper Mills. Again, we have this Aries energy. <laughs> um, getting it again. This is marvelous and novel ideas. Being a free spirit, travel, exploring new places, burning potential from within, confident, successful, making plans. Dude, look how ornery, like, he's balancing the snake on his nose and he's like, ha ha, I'm going to throw some pepper on you and ruin your day. <laughs> Make you sneeze. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Alright, the King of Hats. So the King of Hats is deep wisdom. Loving, friendly, sensitive, affectionate, a counselor. This could be a doctor, a priest, a guru, but overall he's a ladies man. He's in full control of his emotions. He's very emotionally disciplined. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Ten of, uh, the Ten of Pepper Mills. So there's major conflict here. Because Pepper Mills are fire and Cups are water. That's major conflict. And he's covering up that happy family. Again, we have this fire energy. This is specifically Sagittarius energy. And uh, the ton of peppermills is burdened, taking on too much, taking on other people's responsibility, carrying the weight of the world, being physically tired, a need for rest. Any other advice for Aquarius? Any other advice for Aquarius? Okay, I have guardian angel. Your guardian angel is on your side. It's going to help you get through this. You have ancestors that are watching over you. And your higher self that's watching over you. Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today for your uh, Tarot and Wonderland. Now I just want to go over the different private readings that I have available. Uh, right now I do have $20 for 40 minute readings. They would be recorded and then I would put them onto YouTube unlisted so you'd have to get the direct link um, in order to get those. Also I have um, a VML. I have couples, singles, and career. So if you resonate with this Aquarius reading, but you want to know more about your the couples, you want to know more about the career, you want to know more about the singles, then you would click on the link and they're pay per view. And they're only $4.99. So that would be my absolute best deal. I also am offering text messages and phone calls. Uh, everything is in the description box below. Thank you again for joining me today, Aquarius.